Oh yeah. Da 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 da. Eyes wide shut. <laughs> oh boy. Talk about a movie embroiled in controversy, the last film of Stanley Kubrick's career. I talked about it on another Stanley Kubrick in the last uh, Hashcast. I fucks with it. I fucks with his all his movies. Interesting filmmaker. While he's not like my complete favorite, he is so beautiful with his movies. Yeah, yeah, visual style. Yeah, yeah, everybody's heard it. Everybody's heard how he has good visual movies. I want to talk about the weird controversial things. The quote. Alright, let me just sum up, summarize uh, what this movie is about. Tom Cruise is married to Nicole Kidman. You know, in the movie, they play characters. Rich Doctor, you know, gets in an argument with his wife, storms into the city, looking for... to get laid. He wants... He has, like, these weird sexual fantasies, and he, and he, and he wants... He, he he wants to get him fulfilled and stuff. Like, he has this weird energy. And uh, after meeting an old friend, he hears of a nice little weird sex party. He ends up in a weird masked orgy ball in an Illuminati mansion. <sighs> wow, 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 wow. He encounters weird occult things in these people. Notice he is an outsider. This cult notice is he is an outsider, slowly following him and creeping in on him and following him throughout the movie and threatening him and threatening the ones who got him into that club and it's insanely suspenseful. <sighs> There's two meanings to this tribute film. One meaning is that him going to this party and experiencing these weird antics. Uh or a dream state where the regrets and fears of this man, played by Tom Cruise, are reflected and mirrored in the dream-like sequence. And the sex orgy party was but a reflection of a normal, non-dreamy sequence in the beginning, in the Ziegler party. And how this character, once he sees his fantasies in a dream, or it is a real bad decision to join the occult. And... They give their daughter to the cult in order to survive, and 20 minutes that were cut from this film had more child sacrifice and more satanic imagery, and the more satanic imagery is prominent, and the Rothschild imagery is clearly visible in this movie, and this is clearly just an Illuminati movie, because a quote from this is, if I, from, from somebody that was at the party, he says, if I told you what people were at that party, you wouldn't sleep well at night. Oh my god, that means that he might know those people at this party, those people might be powerful, those people might be well known. That means the people at this crazy sex party where they had ashes of like, it's just clearly a cult. And there's 20 minutes for cut where obviously, like there's many videos a analyzing what, what the heck's going on in this movie. I'm not the one of those guys who are like, oh my god, I want to analyze a, a, a crazy complex film and a... Uh, not that it usually doesn't happen and I usually don't like doing that stupid analysis stuff but this is one of those movies that I actually feel like I need to take the time to analyze and take an in-depth crazy look at it and if you want to check out in-depth analysis of movies check out my uh, series I do on this channel called in-depth I'm going to get another one of those out on drag across concrete I am procrastinating for the main topic, I'm going to leave some links below to analysis videos from YouTuber Rob Ager that decipher many mysteries of this film and all the crazy imagery of the occultists and the rituals and the insane shiznit that goes on in this movie. And many YouTubers make essays on this, and uh, Rob Ager does the best. Now, let's take some time to realize the two men, the girl, the this daughter of this guy who gets embroiled with the occult, the two men that he, this daughter is forced to walk towards at the end were at a cult member's party and the Easter egg of Rosemary's baby in the toy shop where she walks, walks towards these men shows that they sold their daughter to the cult in order to survive. And since Stanley Kubrick was trying to expose Hollywood, the theory is... He got killed 666 days before the title of his most famous movie, 2001. You can look this shit up. It's mind-blowing. Theories are out there.
I'm not crazy. You are if you don't believe this. Check this out. If you want um if you want like a weird like world to dive into, I just watch shuts the look for you. Mike Media Empire. Mike Media Incorporated.